But first of all, let me give Queensland some more good news. And that good news is zero new cases overnight. So well done, Queensland. That means we only have four active cases in Queensland. And the total tests over the last 24 hours was 6,729. So well done, Queensland. We've got to keep up those testing rates. But that is fabulous news. That is absolutely fabulous news. And I'm very happy to report that today. Well, today we're in Townsville and I want to talk to you about TAFE and about skills. One of our key priorities in our economic recovery plan is about looking and investing in skills. Skills are important. Over the last few weeks, the Treasurer and I have been launching our regional plans across Queensland. And now we are focusing and drilling down into what are the skills that are needed in each of those regions. It is absolutely crucial as we progress our economic recovery that we look at the skills that are needed for the jobs in the region and matching those skills with those potential jobs. And that is exactly what my government has done. I want to ensure that young people across our state have the opportunity to pursue their dreams and get the jobs that they want to go into. And we have done a whole lot of work in making sure that the skills match the region. So today I'm very pleased to announce that we will continue to invest in TAFE in our state. Over the last five years, we've invested over around $150 million. And today I'm announcing that over the next three years, my government would invest $100 million upgrading our TAFEs across Queensland to ensure they match with those skills. And I just want to give a few examples so uh, people will understand how we are, are working that out. So, for example, here, uh, we will be investing $14.2 million on a new hydrogen and renewable energy training hub. Now, you may say to me, why hydrogen? Well, it was a former Labor government that developed the LNG industry in this state that brought about billions of dollars into that investment, into that industry. Hydrogen has the exact same potential. I've been speaking with um, uh, proponents overseas that want to invest in Townsville and they want to invest in Gladstone. So I'm absolutely determined that we get those skills here in Townsville to make sure that people are ready for the next economic boom of hydrogen. It's not just me saying this, the federal government is saying this and Professor Alan Finkel has been saying this as well. Hydrogen is a huge opportunity for us to capitalise on a growth industry that will be worth billions of dollars. Then, for example, uh, you can, you, we can look at, for example, Ipswich. We're going to be investing in the Bundamba TAFE there. Uh, metals, trades, manufacturing and a robotics centre. Uh, we'll be looking specifically there at welding. Now, why is that important in Bundamba? Because my government has helped to secure Rymatel in Queensland. And that is going to be really important for the manufacturing uh, of the Land 400 that we have Bundamba equipped so young people can go in there and get the skills to work in these new industries. Then, for example, in uh, Cannonvale, we're going to have an aquaculture training centre. We know that Tassal has invested heavily in that region, and I want to make sure that young people get those local jobs working at Tassal and other aquaculture centres across the north of our state. So we've got a lot of investment happening in Toowoomba, there's a Rural Centre of Excellence, stage two will be a million dollars there. And once again, we know how important our agricultural sector is for Toowoomba. There is an investment here right across our state in each of our regions, making sure that we are linking the skills with the jobs that are needed for the future. Uh, my government is absolutely committed to this $100 million investment. It's going to grow the economy and it's going to make sure that our young people are equipped for the future. I might hand over to the Treasurer to say a few words, and uh, then the Minister, and then uh, we'll move on to local issues, and then we'll talk about other issues.